he practiced the exclamation sign by pressing shift and then the exclamation sign so you are already familiar with this we are going to use the left pinky finger to press the on then in case of two we are going to use the left ring finger for three it will be left middle finger and the left index finger will cover five and four so this is it for the left hand and for the right hand the six and seven key will be pressed by index finger of the right hand then eight will be pressed by the middle finger of right hand and we have already practiced the opening and closing bracket of first bracket for nine we are going to use the right ring finger and for zero it will be right pinky finger so let's get started with the practice and this is our tip 10 and here is the numerics the lesson number 16 we are going to skip this special characters on because the special characters 2 will cover both the special characters on and 2 that means all of the special characters so let's start the training about the numerics and here we are so place your hand in the home position then press the space bar to start all the letters will be the same then this pack sessions uh, contain some of the numerics that we need to press so now we are going to press on by the left pinky finger then the comma it will be like the normal then the six and we are going to use the left index finger then zero which will be the right ring finger and again nine it will be pressed by right middle finger so i think you have already got it if you cannot remember which finger to use you can always see the instruction at the below it will help to select the correct finger to press a respective numeric case so keep practicing see you in the next lecture so let's first talk about the home position in case of this number pad in here this middle row which is 4 5 and 6 is the home position so your index finger of the right hand will be on 4 then the middle finger of the right hand will be on 5 and the ring finger will be on 6 now your thumb will be on the 0 and the pinky finger will be on this inter key all the keys in that vertical line except 0 will be pressed by the index finger and all this key in this line except the 0 will be pressed by the right middle finger and this row will be pressed by right ring finger and in case of the pinky finger the minus plus and the inter will be pressed by pinky finger so let's get started with the training there are actually two lessons lessons 19 and 20 about the number pad but we are going to do the second one because it will cover the number pad on lessons also so let's start the training and here we are so as the instruction it is saying to take home row position we have already done that now let's press the space bar and here we go let's press on by right index finger then three which will be the right ring finger then the backslash which will be the right middle finger so it is pretty easy because all the keys are in the same row along with the finger so we need to just move up and down we don't need to go to the right or left or anything near that i think it is not important to you to learn the task typing or very fast typing of this number pad unless you works with a lots of number like calculation or data entry but if you are a programmer or article writer or content creator then 
you are going to use the numeric case on the letters so if you are interested then try to practice it otherwise it is not so much important for you so keep practicing and from the next lecture we are going to talk about some useful keyboard shortcut which will help you to boost your productivity and help you to type faster and you also need to touch your mouse or the touchpad less often if you use the shortcut case so see you in the next lecture